two updates one i have bangs two i'm in miami um my bangs i'm still learning they look kind of crazy i don't know how to style them um so we're testing the waters anyways i'm in miami for a content trip i'm here meeting one of my friends din galley we are gonna shoot just a bunch of content together and get all of our work done but i thought i would vlog and kind of show you what a content trip looks like before i get any further with this video i do want to let you know that it is sponsored by celsius my favorite energy drink this is the sparkling green apple cherry flavor and i will leave a link in the description box below so i'm pretty sure i show you my celsius collection every single video and mainly that's because i'm so proud of it like look at how perfectly it fits in my cabinet um, but anyways, I wanted to talk about my favorite reason as to why I like Celsius. I don't know if it will... There, it's right over here. One of the main reasons I love Celsius is because it is one of the healthier energy drinks out there. There is no high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, preservatives, or artificial colors or flavors. So you all know that I'm really big about that. Um, anyways, yeah, this is the new favorite flavor, sparkling green apple cherry. So yesterday I got, oh my god, I'm so red. I got so burned, um, as you can see. So today I'm just going to lay under an umbrella and just enjoy the beach. So next day in Miami, me and Ellie are about to go walk to the gym, go work out. We're going to get some matcha first. We need a little bit of energy. Oh, I forgot. I need to <gasps> wake up. I'm really so happy. So we're going to go eat, get matcha, walk to the gym, walk back. And then shoot. We're getting a little tan. I'm very excited. Yes, I showed you how um, burnt I was a couple days ago. And I used this um, lotion that Ellie introduced me to. It's from the gods. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Fiji. And, like, I'm so tan now. Like, my skin is good. Sorry if you can hear the wind. Right now we're on our hot girl walk. It's finally starting because it's sunny. With our matches, thank God. Yes. Um, anyways, I wanted to give like a fitness update and trying to- Oh my god, it's so loud, sorry. Anyways, I'm trying to incorporate more cardio for summer just so I can lean out a little bit. Um, so that's what we're doing. Adding more walks. Usually when I'm in the gym, I'll do like 30 or 20 minutes of incline walking at um, 13 incline and 3 miles per hour. And I'll do that for like 20 or 30 minutes, depends how I feel. I'll do that every time after I work out. So that's what we're doing. Might incorporate some hit at some point too. Like maybe once we get a little bit closer to summer, I might start doing that. But I'll keep you updated. We just finished with the gym. Sorry if the camera's super shaky, we're walking. But eating a chomps, these are literally the best thing ever. Chomps, please sponsor me. <laughs> um, I was gonna get a protein shake, but all the protein shakes have like seed oils and like artificial flavors and colors. So we're not doing that. It's really hard to find a good protein brand. So we're having this. We're also learning it's really hard to find almond milks without gums in them. Like when yeah. you go out to buy like a matcha or like a protein shake or something, you don't have clean almond milks. It's true, and now I'm like breaking out and like getting bloated after no good so we just got to the beach and i am starved so i brought down some pineapple i've just been really been craving pineapple recently i don't know why we also ordered two sides of grilled chicken get that protein in after our workout um but we're waiting on that i had to leave the beach early because i had to go get ready to shoot but this is what i'm eating just two pieces of grilled chicken and then i had the fruit i showed you Okay, I just started getting ready for my shoot and Ellie told me that right when I left, some dude bought us drinks. It was so sweet. He bought us little um, pina coladas. I was like, this is for you and your beautiful friend. I said, thank you very much. But Daisy was gone and we don't really drink so I didn't know what to do. So I ate the fruit off so I'm grateful for him. But then I went and I hid them behind like the... Um, the like stand where they put all the umbrellas and stuff, like the utility closet almost. Right, like a shed. Yeah, and I just set them behind the shed too. <laughs> so, you thank you, kind man. You took a photo, yeah? I did. <laughs> there it is, all on its lonesome. No, but I'm we kinda, appreciate you, man. I'm kind of glad I wasn't there because 
like one I'm married two I don't drink so I'm like but it's so nice like what would I say like he was so sweet I'm sorry I don't drink and I'm basically married <laughs> well, he went to approach and then I think he got nervous so he went away so he's like okay like I have to approach with something so he came with two drinks these are for you so kind I know I hope he doesn't see where I hit them <laughs> he like walks out and he sees the drink like, this girl <laughs> It was a kind gesture. Mm hmm Made my day. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been struggling a little bit with styling my bangs. I literally haven't had bangs since I cut them myself in like kindergarten. It was like the first time I've ever changed up my hair. Kind of feel like I have a person when I have them on. But I have no idea how to style them right because like you can kind of see like right here is like where I'm having issues because it just curls in but then this side goes out and I like how that side goes out but I can't get that side to curl that way I don't understand what to do and then shooting has honestly been a little bit difficult especially like shooting in Miami like it's probably the wrong time to get things but like the wind and like the sticky um, hands from like sunscreen and stuff just like not a good combo with things but we're learning because I think there's potential here like, I think when I have them right, like, I look good with it, and I like it, and it's just, like, a nice change. But then it starts to get all, like, weird and jagged and, like, curled in towards my eye, and I start to regret some decisions I made. I think I'm gonna wear my really big earrings today. These ones, I love them. I think these are probably my favorite earrings that I have. Okay, this is what I'm gonna wear for my first photo. I'm gonna take the first photo um, over by the bed. But this dress is from Banana Hot. And those earrings I was showing you about are from Goop. I'm also figuring out how I like my bangs. Like, do I like them all the way across? Like, that's kind of cute too. But I'm kind of liking them, like, a little to the side. Just, like, really short curtain bangs. Just because I like seeing, like, part of my eyebrows. Just got to the pier space. It is one of the most stunning houses. I've ever seen. I'm gonna give you a little tour in just a second. But let me just show you the outside. Like, are you kidding me? The wood and all the big windows are just insane. And these steps are so cute. A cute little reflection moment. I love it. They lock me out. Let me in. Hi, welcome to my crib. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> this is what shoot day looks like. We just got a bunch of stuff everywhere. You look really. <laughs> this is Danielle. Hi. We are. Now I feel. I see why people get anxious when you put the camera in front of them. It's so mm -hmm. much easier to like put it in front of your face. No, it's true. It is yeah. true. No, you look beautiful. Okay, so here is the spot. Right when you walk in, you just have these beautiful windows and the beautiful view. And over here is the kitchen. I want to get... Ooh, focus! This kitchen is so beautiful. I want to get really good shots for Keech Peach in here. Um, don't mind the little stuffed bunnies that we got. We're going to shoot um, little Easter content for OF. Okay, now this is probably my favorite part of this house is the backyard like this is insane it's stunning so when i got here the owner of this um pier space left me this sweet little package and this is faux fur so it is fake fur however i believe that when you purchase it goes to a charity and each charity is like different whichever like color you get apparently um and then also there's cute bronzing glow definitely need that right now winter in nashville is rough <laughs> so excited this is so sweet we finally finished shooting i'm sad to leave this beautiful house but who knows maybe we'll shoot here again we <laughs> that's right Danielle lost her brush and it's nowhere to be found but it's like a rather large brush like it's not a little thing to lose yeah. Okay, I just finished showering. I look kind of crazy. I have my nose tape on. Um, I wear this at nighttime because I feel like it helps 
stop my nose from like swelling overnight because every time I wake up my nose is like really fat <laughs> and I think it's because like that's the thing right does the inflammation just I don't know how it works I think it's like the fluid like I'm pretty sure like the fluid like builds up in my nose or something mm. Cause like I could do like even like a lymphatic drainage massage on my nose and then it goes down if I don't wear my tape. Anyway, so yeah, I wear this. But I didn't bring my camera into the restaurant just because I forgot. But I'm going to put a picture of what I ate right here. Right there or somewhere. Um, but I just had chicken, rice, and avocado. And then I did have a vegan gluten-free blondie, which was the best decision of our lives. Wait. We got two. <laughs> One for later. One, and then we... I just perked up so quick. <laughs> You're like, brownie? Who is this? Okay, guys. I think this is exclusive to Miami. I don't... I don't know if you can buy these online, but I'm gonna look because these need to come home with me to Nashville. They're so fucking good. But I'm not kidding. Like, I'm gonna read you the ingredients just because it's insane. Coconut sugar, oat flour, water, coconut oil... Almond flour, brown, brown rice flour, <laughs> why can't I read? <laughs> Maple syrup, cocoa, but cocoa butter, chia seed, pecan, vanilla extract, and Himalayan salt. Vegan, gluten-free, all organic ingredients. <laughs> this is my shit right here. There's nothing bad in this, and I can fully, fully say that. Being said, like, since it's still, like, sugar and, like, flour, like, not glue and flour but flour i'm still kind of bloated so <laughs> i have some dandelion tea and that's how we are ending our night we just got to the beach and i just took this photo i'm gonna pop it right here by the time i post this vlog it'll probably already be on instagram but we have daniele shooting over here hello and Hi. miss ellie my little frog squat i love it <laughs> so this is the location it's kind of like a swampy Outer Banks vibe. I love Lots the swamp. Mosquitoes. Like I'm kind of feeling it since we're watching Outer Banks right now. Are you? I'm feeling a little hungry, and every time I get hungry and I don't eat, I feel nauseous, and then I also get a little cranky. So, <laughs> and everyone here can attest to that. I'm just naturally cranky. The hanger is real. <laughs> I'm just naturally cranky. <laughs> um, so what I'm having is this. That's it bar. It is one apple and ten cherries, and that is it. <laughs> And then my favorite chomps chomps, please sponsor me. I will cry This these are so good. They're so clean. It's literally just beef and like um, Spices and it's fire cleanest like beef jerky stick ever Yay. Have you ever had chomps before? No, I'm gonna have it <laughs> You don't need the plastic mm. Yeah, fire <laughs> yeah. I smell like sweat, but it's like taken away from the taste, you know, like the aroma of like your own Meat. sweat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just got home and this is what I'm eating. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. It's so colorful and beautiful. We were talking about like if we were to be like what, like a water. Like what like water toy you would be. Yeah, we were like talking about that. And I think mine would definitely be like a stand up paddle board. For sure. Okay, yeah, Ellie would be those water jetpacks. <laughs> I thought she was talking about one of those little pedal boats that like shoots water out the back. It's like in the shape of like a swan or something stupid. <laughs> but I took it. <laughs> they are kind of cute. <laughs> Anyways, we are about to leave Miami. Unfortunately, we're trying to get our last bit of sun. Our flight's like at 7 p.m. So I'm glad we get to tan. We have to do a last minute trip to LA for something really exciting that I still can't tell you. <laughs> but I might vlog a little bit of it. I might not. I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, I look so crazy right now. <laughs> this is what I'm having for lunch. Chicken and cucumbers. Pretty simple. I was gonna have barbecue sauce, but then I saw this has high fructose corn syrup and modified cornstarch. I don't think so. So, I'm just gonna have a play. I just got back to Nashville, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. Okay, so I told you about the mold, right? We know all the issues that it's causing me. I'm gonna show this picture of me being out of my house for 10 days, 
finally starting to feel good. Right here. I have absolutely no bloating. Like that is the flattest I've seen my stomach since I lived in LA. And I have been back for two days and this is what my stomach looks like now. I'm gonna put the pictures I took side by side right here so you can see literally like 10 days leaving the house my bloating is completely gone like I'm out of the mold I don't have red eyes stuffy nose fatigue aching joints I don't have any of that after leaving and then literally just being back everything everything comes back and it's so frustrating because I have so many things to shoot for like coming up like one of the things is what I want to tell you really soon and I can't yet but I just like I, I'm like trying to get in like really really good shape for that and I've been eating really healthy and like working out really hard and it's just really frustrating that it feels like it just all goes down the drain because of mold and I'm just like bro it's so annoying <laughs> so I'm about to lose my mind <laughs> I don't know what to do like I want to leave the house but it's also like i don't want to go and spend more money and rent like an airbnb or hotel to go stay in there until we can fix the problem here like i it's just i don't know it's like do i just stay here and save the money but let myself my, let my body keep being destroyed and taken over invaded by mold i don't really know what to do on that note, I am going to close out this vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed this travel vlog. If you want me to do more videos like this, then let me know. But anyways, I need to go figure out what I'm going to do about this situation because I have too many things coming up and I don't have time for this mold bloating. Anyways, <laughs> bye! <laughs>